Okay, so here's an illustration of how to use the universal plotting sheets. These sheets are about 13 inches square, roughly. They are printed on both sides. They come in pads of 50 for about seven or eight dollars. And, uh, and so these are called universal plotting sheets. And the tools, we've got a pair of uh, pair, uh, dividers here. These are called uh, uh, speed bow. And they've got the points here. We want to, whenever we pick up the dividers, we want to be sure the points are snug here so we don't lose, the, these, lose these points. These are speed bow. The bow nature means we can turn them like this. And the speed bow means we can override it like this. That's a speed bow. And these are uh, probably the dividers of choice among professional mariners around the world uh, for many years now. They uh, come from Denmark, I think, originally. Well, these say Germany, but they also come from Denmark. And then this is, a, this is an optional tool we're going to use here, the Weems uh, parallel, uh, uh, parallel plotter. There's other ways to do this. You could use the parallel rulers, but this also works. This one's a little bit bowed, but it won't matter. Okay, so in this a plotting sheet, and so here's going to be our here. Here will be our exercise that we want to do. I've got a lad, uh, a, say an L A N. I measured at noon, uh, local apparent noon. We measured a latitude 38 degrees 20 minutes north, longitude 140.05 west. Now somehow we measured that, or somehow we know it, but that's our position. We want to plot that position on this chart, and then we want to lay out a course that's a 220 true, and then we want to ask ourselves, what is our DR position after 200 nautical miles? That's, that's the exercise. So these are blank. These are intended, if you see here, these are marked in uh, 60s every, um, every, every uh, 10 degree, every 10 miles. So this is 60. The default design of these is 60 miles. So that's, that would be like one degree Per, per meridian here. Now we could also expand these plots, and that's maybe another movie to make, but we could call that six miles rather than 60 if we want to do some zoomed in plotting. But the, the base model is 60, 60 miles here. So you're looking at one, two, three, four. You're looking at a chart of the ocean, a blank ocean chart of about 240 miles area. And, and then, so the way that you make this universal is we're going we're gonna to call this, what is it? We want 3820. So we'll call this 38 degrees north. That would make this 39 degrees north. And then this would be 37 degrees north here. And then we'll call the middle one 140. 140 degrees west. So now the question is, where is 139 and where is 141? There's a couple ways to do that. One is you can just go up this scale here to uh, 38. So the, on the outside scale, on the outside scale, the inside scale is 0 to 360 all around this way. Ah, pause. Okay, so we've got this. So our job is now where is 139 when where is 141? And we can go out, count out the outside scale, 10, 20, 30, and go up to... Um, go up to, what do we want? 38 degrees. So it's 30, and then here's 35, 36, 37, 38 is right here. And then I could go up here, set this, and I'm aligning this center line with this. And then I go up to 38, which is here. All like that. and then check this 38 over here, and then I can draw that line like that. And then this distance, then I can go from here to here, and then roll this over to right there, right at 38, and draw a line, and then double check it didn't slip, and then come over here. Oh, that felt like it slipped. Let me go over here, get lined up, and then go over here to 38 and draw a line here. So this now then is, um, that would be 139 degrees west and 141 degrees west, like that. Remember they're in the west, the west is over here, so they increase to the west. The north is up here, so they increase to the north. When you go below the equator, then these will get bigger going down. Eastern, they'll get bigger that way. 
So that's that. Now, to check what's going on, we need a scale. Here we have a nice scale for this, but we don't have a scale for this, which we get down here at this thing. So if I take this and I just measure this, this should be 38 would be like here's 30, 35, 38 is about here. And uh, so there you see that's that. So you could go in and draw a line here, you know, where you estimate 38 is. And then this, this distance from here to here, from here to here, that distance right there is going to be this distance up here. And then that's our longitude scale. And so that's a 38. Okay, so there our sheet is set up, and now I can do the exercise. We want to plot a position at latitude 38 degrees, 20 minutes north. So here's 38, and now I go uh, 10, 20 is right here. And then I can just set this here. And um, this is basically, if I did a noon site, um, if I did a noon site, that's my line of position right there. That's a, that would be the noon site, and it's a line of position, and it's at 38, uh, 20 north. Now, if I want to do 4005, I would come down here, and the way, th the way this scale works here is, there is, this is, there's five of these, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So the way that you would set up, if you wanted to set up something like 24, you would put this on the 20, you'd put that one on the 20, and then this one you would come into the four, you see, 24. So that would then be 24. I got zero, 10, 20, and two, four going over this way. So that's the way that works like that. But we just want, uh, o f what, O5? So O5 would be, each of these are two, so that would be two, four, two and a half of these divisions. So you can't see that too well, maybe unless I zoom in, but there's two and a half divisions right there, that's five. So that's here, and then that's right here. So that's that position. I could just mark it with a dot, but generally it's a little crisper to go up here and just make a, uh, a little cross mark right like that. Okay, so that's our, that was our position. Normally a position gets marked with a circle and you would have some time you could put down there, you know, like, um, 1353, 722, something like that. Now, coming out of there, we have a course. Our course is uh, what, two, no, our course is 220. Our course is 220, 60. Oh, I went 200 nautical miles. Ah, bummer. Let me, I'm gonna modify my problem here in a minute because I'm gonna go off this sheet. Remember, that's only 200. So let me do this. I'm just gonna go back and fix history for us right now. Let's say we wanna ask our position after 125 nautical miles. Okay, 125 nautical miles. All right, so I'm here and I want the course 220. So this is, here's 220, 180 to 220. And then I can just put my, plant my dividers there, plant them in bump that up against it, and then roll that up till it lines up with the center. See, so, so that's just a trick when you're underway. You can go plant it, put it up there, rotate that to 220, and then you've got it. And then you can just move this up to here, like that. Now I kind of hit my hands backwards, so I, I may have, I'm gonna turn it around. I felt, I kind of felt like I maybe slipped. So I'm gonna come up here to 220, I'm gonna go up there, get, get, get it into a better hand. There, I got that. Now I'm gonna just rotate this up here, and then you draw the line. So that's my course line like that. Then if you wanna be safe, you can come back and see that you're really still at 220, uh, which I was. Okay, so now, then, okay, now with my cheated answer, I wanna go 125 miles. And so this is 60, this is 120. And that's 125 would be there. Let's see if my dividers will even get that. If it doesn't, I have to do some more tricks. Should have thought through this. Okay, uh, 60, 120, and 125 would be right here. Right there, right there. Okay, so let's get that. I'm gonna put that here and put that here. And so there's the position. That's a DR position. So that would be a dot and a circle like that. 
And so now, then the question is, what's the latitude and longitude of that point? And then you would just come up here and put your uh, line, this center line up here with this. You come down to here. And there's the latitude. The latitude of that is, is uh, 37. This is obviously then 36 degrees down here. And this 36, 10, 20, 30, 43. 36 degrees, 43 minutes north. Okay, and this distance here, this distance was 125 miles. Okay, and now the longitude, we've got this line here, which was our, our longitude 141. And so we're, we're this far over, right? I go up here, read that, and I come down here. So there's the, there's the longitude right there which I can, I can read off. The, <clears throat> I get that distance here. I set this, set this here and then come down over here and I've got that here. So there's that distance set on my dividers right there. And then I come over here and put on this scale. And here, <clears throat> here I have, um, it's, I'll put it here. And that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 42, 4, 6, 46. So this would be a longitude of uh, 141, 46 minutes. So if I just made a little nicer line here. So this would be 141 degrees, uh, 46 minutes. Let me double check. Um, let's see, 40. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 46. Okay, so that's the, that's the exercise and that's the use of these charts. A uh, little bit bungled uh, report, but uh, hopefully you see the, how that works.